Well, hello. I guess better late than never, huh? Maybe. I don't know. We shall see. Oh, I need to get my stream management running. that makes sense it has been an interesting to say the least I guess yeah. I guess I just put you right there I can kind of pay attention do the uh, okay loyalty points 51 loyal Yeah, my uh, my morning, my day has been fun. It all actually started yesterday. Yesterday? Must have been yesterday. I don't even know what day it is anymore. Looking outside my window, sipping my coffee, and what do I see? You don't want all this. You don't want all this. I see a truck come cruising down my road tearing out all of the phone and cable lines that was fun so uh yeah this truck took everything out and i contact comcast and say hey there's cables all over the ground i called at&t even though i don't have at&t i called pg&e actually i didn't even have to call pg&e there was a pg&e guy standing out there and the fire fire department shows up and just starts cutting wires <laughs> which i mean okay they don't want live wires on the ground i get it i understand that but technically it was all low power it was all cable and and things like that of course you don't know it's hanging off a power line right well i'm not gonna blame them um but at&t then shows up and uh i like I said, I don't use their services, so they show up and I see them just pull it the rest of the way out of my house and seal it up with some caulking. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that, that, you know, fine. Never wanted it there anyway. But then Comcast. Oh, Comcast. I call them and let them know, hey, there's wires on the ground. I believe that they are the ones that probably called the fire department. I don't know. But I, get, I hear nothing back from them. So I call them again uh, a couple hours later and say, Hey, so you, what's going on? And I proceed to spend an hour having an agent attempt to troubleshoot my issue. <laughs> like, uh, the first thing they said was that my... Uh, my cable box wasn't activated and that was the cause of my problems. I'm like, mm, no, just shot in the dark. That's probably not the problem. Then they tell me that they have to run some diagnostics. I'm like, hey, have a blast. And they come back and say, yeah, it looks like your uh, cable box isn't reachable. Like, yeah, well, if it were plugged in, it would still not be reachable. <laughs> I don't use their cable. I only use internet. So they asked me if I have rebooted my modem. No, I, I have not rebooted my modem. Would I care to try? No, I would not care to try that. <laughs> I'm looking at the wire hanging from the telephone pole. Yeah, I don't think rebooting my modem is going to do it. They offer to send me a new modem. Probably still not going to fix the 
wire hanging from the telephone pole. Finally, she's got done enough diagnostics that she can open a ticket and get someone out to me. So she opens that ticket, but the soonest that they can come out is in three days. Okay. I mean, it's not Comcast's fault that this truck drove down my, my street, right? But uh, I'm a little bitter considering I've, I'm on my second call and I've now spent about three hours on this total. But whatever, I get my ticket number and they, the lady I think is just trying to get me off the phone. She says, oh, we can set you up with something expedited if, if anything becomes available. So I have to be awake at 7.30 in the morning to answer a phone call just in case something becomes available. Nothing became available. Shocker. But I do get a call from Comcast about two hours ago asking me if my service was still down. Yes. Yes, it is. And then they proceeded to ask whether or not they could assist me in troubleshooting it. <laughs> no. No, they could not. And when I explained to the guy, uh, no, there's the, the cable has been ripped out of the side of my house. There is nothing you can do to troubleshoot it. Oh, well, that wasn't in the ticket. Uh, so, essentially, with all of that being true, I decided, um, since I was, I'm kind of in the middle of moving anyway, I decided, all right, let's just grab everything. So, my last two hours has been completely deconstructing the network, my lab, my production side of things, everything. Putting it in my car, driving it across town, and plugging it all in and trying to make it all work. Thankfully, I already, at the place I'm going, already has internet, so here we are. That's also why I was a little bit late. Somehow my camera decided it was going to go into infrared only mode. My uh, tablet wouldn't connect to the network. It just, it's, it's, it's been an interesting morning. That's what I'll say. So now I get to, honestly, I'm probably going to just sit here with you guys go through the network and see how everything is currently running because that's kind of the only issue or the only question at the moment is was i able to actually get everything plugged back in seems like it um i think i should start with a speed test because i didn't do that yet I'm in Jefferson Union High School. Ooh, I love the look, the IP location stuff. Eh, it's a little slower than home. Old home. <laughs> oh, you know what we didn't do? I need to open my Discord. Do my Poke Daily. And then I also want to. Okay, that's not terrible. All right. So, speed test tested. Uh, let's check Unify couple of these things this new location i actually built out the network here originally <laughs> it was a while ago it was about rock rough it was about 15 years ago now but thankfully at that point in time i sprung for cat six and there's cat six throughout the entire location so winning um, I did only do one network drop per room instead of my, it, generally speaking, you want to do a minimum of two 
and for any anything going between floors or where you're going to have like an IDF closet and a, a receiving end, you're going to want at least four connections, preferably more, uh, just so that if you have to, you can, you know, you can aggregate connections or you can do backhaul or any number of reasons. Uh, in some instances before I really did a lot of VLANing when I set this up, um, I had it so that uh, you would have the network come in and then go back. Uh, sorry, it would come into the, the modem and then from the modem it would go up to the IDF and then it would come back down to the switching location. It, I, was, I was rather new at all of this at that time. Um, but yeah, it's uh, fun. Oh, I didn't catch the rock rough. Oh well. Oh, I should. I need to do my trade. So let's let's take care of that real quick. Boom boom. Why am I using two keyboards? I can go to Irish John. Why not? This is all I'm really worried about. Oop. Hey, I got $5,000. What are we going to dump? Um, let's see. Battle grass type. Let's get rid of a grass type then. It's unfortunate there's so much horrible in here. Won the trade. Okay, handled. Hey, I got a fungus. Perfect, average, average, horrible, bad. Alright, so everything seems to be doing fine here. Let's look at our clients. One thing I'm finding interesting is it seems as though the area that I'm set up in has some power issues, and that concerns me. I'll have to take a look at that. It looks like everything's doing well. Cool. DNS 1 is up. DNS2 is still in a box behind me, but that's okay. Yeah, there's a new Unify version. I'm not going to update that while I'm talking to you guys, but... Okay. So far, so good. Now for the, the next part of the test. Hey! It looks like the cluster came back up, too. Let's do lens and see if we can't take a peek. A couple of warnings. That would be because I just shut the thing down. It's really interesting going like you're, there's a proper way to shut down a cluster but when you're gonna shut the whole thing off i mean just boop. no <laughs> it, you'd shut it down properly ssh into it tell it to shut down you know do do things the right way ish esque Got two restarts you're running though so that's good let's do all anybody We've got Gatia getting evicted. State metrics getting evicted. Open project pending. That's I'm not too worried about open project. Something to troubleshoot in the future, but not today. Oh, you know what else I don't have? 
We need to get you running. Hell. Actually, I didn't even check. What is my stream? Okay, I'm currently in software development. Cool. I guess that's what I'm doing today, then. That makes life easy. Um, let's make sure that you aren't open. Okay, just start closing these that aren't in use. I realized that I want to stop focusing on what's on how pretty it looks moving stuff around and I would rather at this point just get to the point where I can use this back end so one of the things that we were doing last time if I remember correctly is I added yeah so this, I've got to wrap my head around still, unfortunately. So to get the ad schedule, you have to be the owner of the channel. But the bot's obviously not going to be the owner of the channel, so it's not going to be able to get the ad schedule. So what I'm probably going to have to do is just write a little helper app that sits on the side and then sends a notification to the bot. I can leave this in. Uh, in theory, it's possible to, to run it as yourself. So maybe... Let me not yawn in your ear. So maybe if you're running this, if somebody else find, ends up finding this useful somewhere down the line, then... Uh, you know, whatever. I would, I'm going to leave it there for now. Uh, I should probably... Oops. Add a comment here. Is pointless. All right. So what's something else that I want to do? What do I want to do with this thing? I mean, first things first. What you're running. And then we want to get that running. Yes. Cool. Oh yeah, I was working on the participants. That was next. Why is it failed to load though? Oh, you know what I haven't done though? I need to do this and I do need to get better with my my commits. It, it's interesting to think that we have auto save, but we don't have auto commit. It kind of seems like that would be a little more helpful. I don't know. Um, let's see. Notated add API. Because that's really the only thing I did here. Holy crack up moly. Where'd my water go? Let's grab some of that. See, so yeah, that's kind of funny. I'm in travel mode and <laughs> so is my cluster. So is my whole lab. That's... Uh... Makes me laugh. Okay. 
So why are you suddenly not working? Error, Twitch auth validate, token failed validation. Okay, so it made a new one. seems like it's working so it must be in the way that i'm requesting it boom, boom, boom. component twitch participants participant list Stay the user's error. Oh yeah, because I was trying out SWR. I'm probably going to have to open up that help page again. <laughs> uh, if error return, fail to load. Oh, I should probably return fail to load and then it has to be what? Dot, dot, dot. Objects are not, of course, it's an object. <laughs> mode access has been oh okay so there's something going on with cores anyone else see that We'll see. We'll see how long term this is. <laughs> ah, boy. All right. So it's given me an error that it can't get to it because of cores. So what's my cores setup? Is origin is localhost 3001. So what the deal is. from origin has been blocked by course policy what about here server course origin http localhost all right app origin h maybe it's that 200 that i need to get rid of it's just access to fetch from localhost has been oh wait a minute am I not I don't think I'm using cores probably huh 
So I have cores options, API chatters, async. Yeah, there's a thing I need to do to make sure it uses cores. What was that thing? So that happened because I was doing this. All right, and now the objects aren't coming back. Great. I missed a Durant. How dare. I could have named it Kevin. So now it comes down to, I need to prop that up. I would hate for someone to chat and just be like, nah, I'm ignoring you. Um, all right, so it comes down to here. So if error tells me and then it says failed to load. If it is validated, return loading. Cool. Otherwise, return UL participants list is users. Data users. So I am doing a console log. Okay, so I'm getting user. I'm getting each user. Oh, so the problem is I need user dot username. Does that do it? It does it, but it kind of runs off the screen. Okay, we're getting there. Now we're cooking with gases. <laughs> All right, so I need to make that a scrolling list. I need to make this div. Oh, what is that called? Um, it is a micro pain. It's a pain. A pain, all right. To make a div vertically scrollable, overflow X and Y. So I want a, so class name is just container, ID is participants container. So I'm looking at app.css. Is that where a stash container? Uh, code UI div. 
Oh, there we go. So messages container, I can do the same thing. But really, I want all of them to be able to scroll, so maybe I do just do a container, because I think, if I remember right, everything, like Twitch chat, chat messages, goes into a div class name of container. So yeah, in app, I need dot container, which I don't have here. All right. Let's just add. Uh, I don't want any of this stuff. Never mind. Screw you, AI. Trying to make me look worse than I am. How dare you. Um. Doom, doom, doom. So let's do just this stuff. And how are we looking? I think I can get rid of the logging, right? <laughs> so let's get rid of... Well, we can keep... No, we'll get rid of it. And we'll get rid of that. Okay, this, this whole thing actually can just go. Oops. I was like, I know that there's a way to do this. Why is it not happening? Okay. We didn't break anything yet. Nope. All right. So class name is container. Let's make sure that we're getting what we want out of this. So... Oh, we don't want padding. Let's do a background color. Maybe we'll make it a nice aqua. Just so it stands out. Okay. That shouldn't be grabbable. Alright. One second. I need some more water.
and we're back. Oh man, I didn't even realize. I may have just walked away and left the screen on. Actually, let me see. Let me see what that looks like. Boom. So that's me. I did this. Yeah, that didn't work. I just walked away. Cool. Um, that's because I was in. I'm in studio mode now, so I need to hit the transition button. Not. Whoops. Sorry about that. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, ping. We are trying to make this a scrollable list. Which is done in here. Let's take a look at the thing that we are reading. So they've set a class of scroll. Oh, it's because I don't have a width height. Probably. Right? So let's do that. Boom, boom. I mean, why not? We'll just do that. Did, wait, did I just do 100%? Oh, well, there we go. Cool. Now that is inside of inside of so this list inside of a container gets jammed inside of an app control. So if I go back to app App control border. Oh, that's a handle. App control. Okay. Background border. Border radius. Width height. Ah, oh, we got padding. We want zero. Let's see how that looks now. Nope. Margin zero. Why is it still creating this? Let's see, so I've got aqua, height and width 100%. Well, let's get rid of the background color because I would just rather not have it. Let's make it padding of zero. Yeah, see, it, it's still like it's not inside of the box that it says that it's inside of. So let's look at that. So we have a card. And it is map control. So I put this div inside of this div. All right. And then this is inside of it. Venomoth, let's see. Did I see it in time? Maybe. I should do... Hope you check as well. Dang, I guess I didn't catch it. <laughs> oh, we are running now. We should. Dice. I mean, you know, make sure the bot's running. What is that? Maintain? Oh, WebSocket. Okay. That's just maintaining it. All right. So app control. Uh, 
app control background go border border radius width height margin is margin and padding are now zero do i get rid of the px just make it zero Uh, let's look at these elements. So, that div, we have the app div. Main body. A draggable, a draggable, and a draggable. Okay. And then we have the app control. The top. And the bottom. Draggable, this draggable. True style opacity cursor move border solid black display in nine block padding is zero. Oh, because the so the app control takes up part of it, so if I have it taking up. Yeah, okay, so this is just overflowing the amount that that takes up. So instead of doing 100%, I just need to do the remaining pixels. So if the entire app control has a height of 360 and a width of 360, then the container Just try. We'll start at 100 px. Oh wait, no. The width should always be the full thing, so it's going to be 360. Okay. Cool. Cool. 30 seems about right. Maybe a little bit less, like 25. Yeah, 25 looks better. I'm going to have to adjust this as well, but that's okay. We, we can get there. All right, so then the generic container, instead of that, we're looking at... Um, Oh, well, 100% on the width is fine. It's the height that we're worried about. And we're using 25 of 360. Where'd it go? Oh, there we go. So, we're just going to go with 335. X. Three thirty px. Let's give us a little bit of a buffer there. That looks pretty nice. Oh, no one caught the venom. Wait, I already knew I didn't catch the venom moth. What the hell? 
Why am I talking to myself like this? Water break. set this way uh, so the problem there is a problem though and that problem is well this should be a container this should be a container you see what I'm getting at I mean I have them right now I have them as their own And I'm wondering, like, should I have a CSS in here? I feel like each one of these should have their own CSS. Let's see if that'll work. Let's do a new file. We're going to call it. Participants.css. And then select app. App just does import this. So if I then do the same thing, oh, I should re rename this because it needs to be that. So then I should be able to say that right why does that look broken it's not a named function though all right what's going on here oh all right i see it needs a little of uh, this magic There we go. So now if I take the stuff out of here. And put you in here. And I need the other one. What was the other one? Well, do I? Because these should be generic. These work on everything, right? So then I should do the same thing in chat. In here. So let's just new file. CSS and do the same thing. Cut and pasta. And in the thing that's actually exported, say. So then we can keep this more focused on the generic stuff that goes in app, right? I think that's, I mean, it's gotten a little funky, but eh, what are you going to do? This 
This is a problem for future us. No venom. Oh, you know, I do need to check. Squirrel. I meant to check how this is going. Where's my regular? I got 19 of those. And so much money. Okay. Okay. I want to shift this all the way over to the left. That's the draggable. That's that class. And then you. So I have a container with a container in it. Oh, okay, so that's my problem. I have this container. Wait, I have this container, which has this container. Why is it doubled up? Three twenty-eight and three fifty-eight. Why is it thirty less? All right, let's take a look at that. What's going on here? Um, we're going to put you away. We're looking at you. Oh, let's do... CSS into components directly. All right, so I have div class containers, and then it creates that. Is the problem because I have the chunk? Is container no I've still got two containers why do I have why are you doubled up in container ooh munchlax my favorite not really but actually doing pokey check on this one doesn't make sense because I've already caught one let's see if I caught this one did well, that's funny the last thing i caught was a munchlax too <laughs> entertaining all right app app okay app control is card ache holding a container I need to make a card dot CSS, but that's not. Return rep, drag rep. And then children. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, so it is doubled up. You're okay being a container. Do I even need you to be a container? Do 
I even need you to be a div? Can I just do this? Is that acceptable? I mix the list. Okay, and now I just need to get rid of the space where the dots would be. I think I had that. Uh, getting rid of bullet points from a UL. So UL. All right, in this case, UL ID is participants list, so in here, I say participants list, list style type is none, was that the one? That's the one. All right. But it's still there. I don't like that. Why are you still there? List style type none. Oh, maybe that's it. Did I spell participants incorrectly on here? Participants dash list. It looks like it's a little bit better. Now, one thing I am going to need is I'm going to have to put. I want to have the date that they joined. And then I can cross reference other data with it. Water break. And we're back. What does this button do? Bonk. Bonk. Just changes my stereo version. All right. So UL participants list LI. Do I need to do this as well? Like that. And then do the same thing. So what are these guys saying? List style type. So that. Is that the problem? Nope. 
let's see, start and left. You know. Yeah, it's keeping that padding as zero. What's the difference of using this way? Actually, there isn't one. The, the list style type specifies Yeah, I can get rid of them. See, none of this is true, though. <laughs> I guess I could do that. Like, I don't care. Didn't do it. Maybe this is overriding it. So yeah, I was overriding it. Cool. But I do think... I mean, shouldn't that just do anything? But it doesn't. Okay. That'll work. So only those ID'd items. All right. Now we're cooking with gases. So now what I need is I need to add a checkbox to each one of these. And I think, like, I've got the index. Let's see. I think. Do I want a checkbox? Yeah. I'm going to need a couple of checkboxes. It's going to be basically like ban. Uh. Well, what options are there? <laughs> Let's take a quick gander at mod activities. We'll pick we'll pick myself. Well, well, I can't ban myself, can I? So follow whisper invite ban timeout warn. And then unmod. What 
what information do I have? I have the ID, login, name, oh, and follow that. Cool. So I also want Actually, what happens if I do that? If I do a little busy <laughs> maybe I just make that I'll probably make that a hovered thing something And we're back. All right. So I think actually on any list item, it's pretty easy to just do, what is it, hover? data, right? Uh, let's see, list item, hover, show other data. selector what a 
need to use adjacent selectors. CSS. Okay, try it. Let's see. So do hover plus hide. Do that thing. Boom. So display is block, color is red. You know what? It's it's not something I'm working on right now. I'm, I'm talking. I'm thinking about adding functionality before I have any functionality. Let's not. <laughs> Let's just not. What am I looking for? I'm looking for this. And React app. All right. So we've got the participants list, um, and it creates the list item of all of them. Each one also is going to need a checkbox. I think it's just checkbox if I remember right. should do it on the other side. Let's see what it looks like on the other side. Oh, it's not going to like that because it's not inside the list item. Is that the problem? JSX have more than one. So is this, I think this is where I need to wrap it in a chunk, right? Oops. 
Yeah, like that. Um, no. Oh, well, that's my bad. That's because I didn't I took it off of the same line. Or not. Okay, so I'm, I am going to have to put it in there. I'm either going to have to put it in or I'm going to have to make it it's either inside there's the break yeah. like that So wait, if it's going, like, why is it creating a break? Because what I want is that, like, if I select this one to this one. I want everyone in between. like if I do it this way it's putting them one after another and that's I do not want Realistically, I want the list item to be. Can you do that? Can you make uh, Can I make it a checkbox? Item input type equals this. This item di or dt. Wait a second. Okay, so. Just an idiot, <laughs> which is fine. I'm fine with that. I can accept it. space why doesn't it create a space though because I do want 
this space between them. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, it only does one space, though. I need the, what is it? Uh, and, and, T, and, B, S, P, right? There we go. That gives us two spaces. All right. And I guess I can just put the checkbox like a couple of them, right? So I've got a name and a value. Um, I need a different value, which is going to be... I guess it's going to be, we'll have ban, and then do another one. This will be timeout. Band is not defined. Timeout is not defined. Oh, well, yeah, that's... That's a true statement. I feel like I need to make an account just so I can practice banning it. <laughs> as dumb as that sounds, I'm going to want a label up top, so we're going to have to screw around with the CSS just a little bit more, right? Because participants just shows a participant list. Class is container. Gardevoir. Let's catch it. Let's get it on. All right, so we've got the container. It's it. It's, we've already got it in a chunk. scroll okay we just have to take away a little bit more space no problem so our height is three 30, let's go to 305.
All right. So the problem is, though, that it's outside of container. So I guess I need to do... Is it style? Well, I guess I could just make a a div here as well, huh? Thusly. And yeah, there we go. Then here, oh. just call it <laughs> participants title bar. Sure, why not? We'll just do that for the heck of it. line left. Did I do it wrong? Element class participants title bar. No, oh, just title bar. There we go. And timeout username. padding because that breaks everything kind of okay with that man and catch the gardevoir oh i should do a poke check though there we go seeing chat are we i don't remember oh hey we are cool did not expect that <laughs> like wait a minute i did something right no way and i don't think it deletes out of here Yeah, it stays in there. One thing that I I should probably put some sort of search in here too. So, I mean, I want to be able to do the stuff from here. Maybe that's what I should have been doing all along. But whatever. All right. I'm going to call that acceptable for the time being. Like I said, I, right now I just want to get stuff kind of made. Um, so let's do a new folder. This is... This is a little bit different. This is uh, announcements. Or it will be announcements. Because I do want the bot to be like, hey, check out the, I don't know, the channel. Check out this, check out that. 
right now it's it's basically check out the connected me website or check out YouTube I don't think I have anything on YouTube that isn't just uh, a dumping ground for these when I'm done with them not yet anyway soon maybe probably we'll see um, all right so we want a new file you're gonna be yeah and then another new file is going to be start CSS announcements is um, what are we doing let's make sure we import react and we import CSS and we export function announcements and we return just that <laughs> Good enough for me. And you know what? I hate to do it. But I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> Bio break.
Well, hello. All right. Let's see. I'm going to throw a hoodie on. It's getting chillier. <laughs> the winter is coming. All right. Um, okay, we're making the container. Let's see. And let me compare to what we got here. I created a list. In this case, what I'm what I'm hoping to do is have a rotating list of things that it says. So what I need to do Actually, a lot of the say stuff. Um, do I? I don't think I have. Yeah, this is all get. I need a. I need an apt up post. And this is going to be slash API slash say oops let auth item equal no I don't need to do any of that I don't think because all I'm really doing at this point is I'm going to go into I'm going to go into Twitch getters, I believe. Uh, lib Twitch getters. No, I need a I need to include Twitch chat, don't I? Yeah, because I need to send a chat message. And that includes... Ooh, carb link. Carb link, what the heck is... Is that the... Uh, catch one dang it no I didn't now I'm curious though let's see what it is Darbink yeah that is not what I thought it was <laughs> I was expecting a car I was expecting one of the car parts what's the what is that one called then This one, ah, Rever Room, and it is, isn't it a, aren't you an evolved form of something? Oh, from the room. Yeah, and I think these guys were, well, it does say where it was introduced. Number 965, I don't know. Oh yeah, there we go. Introduced in Scarlet. Yeah, so that's in the, the newer games. Those are fun games. That'd be one I'd want to uh, stream. That'd be a fun fun game to stream. Some Pokemon. Maybe. One day. Now, one of the, I am definitely going to have to make sure that I'm able to post, or I'm only able to post if I have the uh, the key, or you know, I, I'm going to need to add a little bit of security in up in here. 
So we get the auth item. I'm not worried about channel crits. What is this saying? Chat speak broadcaster ID. Body message. I mean, is that something that would just work? Now I'm curious. just looking to post a message to that. So if I do back up here in announcements, well now what announcements has to do is include need basically I'm probably just gonna have to put all of these into a new database and I would rather not I would rather not spin up another instance of of SQLite so at this point I'm considering Do I change? Do I do I start working on changing my database? Or I mean, since I just created a say, uh, let's let's look at the let's look at this. Uh, look at the Twitch reference and see what we got. So I've got chat, get chatters, get channel, get, 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 update, send a shout out, send a chat message, send a chat announcement. Announcement to make. Announcements are limited to 500. All right, do I want it to be an announcement or do I want it to just be a regular chat? That's new. Broadcaster ID, the sender ID, and the message. So yeah, in this case, it's not going to be... Alright, so it's going to chat messages. And if I go back to my... Little API call per se, chat, speak. All right, so it's already wrong. <laughs> All right, it's going to need authorization client we need the broadcaster sender and message and this has headers so 
not to get. Oh, in each one of those. So broadcaster ID, broadcaster ID. Sender ID is also needed. Except I can't use that. So I need let bot creds equal that. Yeah. And then instead of this, it is. And then the message is rec body message. In theory. So the only way for me to test this is. Have I installed Postman? I installed Postman. Okay. Let's search for Postman. Oh, that's not good. Why is that so few stars on here? Because it's proprietary? Crashes at startup. Crashes after login. Does not open after login. Okay. So, no flat pack. Let's just... <laughs> Go and do it the old fashioned way. And I am looking for Postman. Let's see what we got. Directed to downloads. We already did that. Wait, does that mean I have to do it again? There we go. Wait, why does it require or continue? That's all we want. All right, so we want to post to not 30,000. Slash say. And we want the key to be message and the value to be hello world. Send it. Error socket hang up. Could not get response. Uh, it doesn't look like it said anything either. Oh, because I did it here. Form data. Hello, world. Oh, this can go away. No, we want no. Problem. 
prunes. Wait, let's get all, all these. All right, so we want no prunes. Let's get rid of you. Um, we don't really have any headers because I'm not doing anything securely. Could not send a request. Error connection refused. What? Request body message is hello world. Am I getting errors here? Oh, well, that would be an issue, wouldn't it? Rick body. Oh, that's okay. That's kind of interesting. I should have, and that should be handled more gracefully. All right, let's try it again. Send. Uh, we don't want this console. You still crashed, okay. Cannot read properties of undefined reading message. So I'm sending a body with a message that says, hello world, is that the problem? Does it need to be quoted? All right, let's do the only proper thing. So I don't think Pokey Check is gonna give me any data anyway. Alright, so it accepts it. Content type. stuff in there but I'm only doing rec let's go all the way up well what about this dot body let's try that see if anything actually gets printed send it Undefined. Okay. So maybe we do it this way. I mean, I would have thought form would have done the thing, would have done the trick, right? Let's get rid of you. Let's do this. crashed because you know still crashes it and it still says rec body is undefined okay
Let's try this. Body dot message. No Whalmer for me. Let's do this too. Why not? All right. So what happens here? I mean, I'm looking for hello world to be somewhere in here, right? There it is. Is today the super moon? I don't remember there being an eclipse, but super moon, I remember reading about. Super moon. Full harvest moon is also a super moon. It also includes a partial lunar eclipse. Hmm. Let's see. Where are we going to see this partial lunar eclipse? Hi, by the way. <laughs> eclipse proton. I feel as though you have a specific thing you're you're kind of pushing <laughs> eclipse the moon will appear for about three days oh it says this full moon will also feature a partial lunar eclipse 33 minutes ago did you write this I do have a friend that's super interested in this sort of stuff, so I'm going to have to keep that in mind. Where was I? Alright, so I did it this way. That's the path pseudo URL original URL. URL. So URL, original URL, search. So it's getting sent there as a, because I'm doing it as a parent. But if I do it as a body and I say, Hello world. Oh, I didn't even check if I was still crashed though, right? Yeah, I was. But now I don't have it coming through. Oh, 
Let's see. At post path callback. Okay. So let's look at this. Post to there. Get the rec res. Res send. is going to be empty. Request is what I need. I'm trying to get the request. Well, I mean, maybe instead of post, I do it this way. No, it's got... That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Let's try... Let's take a closer look here. To log, okay. But what I want to do is actually send data to it. So I've got wrecked up method there. Let's send it. Let's look at what we got here. All right, so wreck is what? Not, not sending anything? I doing wrong here headers why am I not able to stuff anything into this body let's try it right, that sounds really weird <laughs> let's try it this way
Let's try this way. And instead, it's going to be rec.params. That message. It's not even saying undefined this time. So it's in the URL, it's in the original URL, then the search. In the query path, blah, blah blah. Okay, so it's coming through as query, which of course it would because of that. But there's nothing in params. I mean, I guess I could URL encode it, right? Ooh, what do we got? Teddy or Sa? Okay, check. Guess I didn't catch that one either. Let's just do instead of post, we're gonna say app.get. I'm still doing that. And instead of post, I'm gonna do git. We're gonna do a key of message, and the value is going to be hello world I get it it's that's not the same one yeah no One more time. Message. Hello. Still crashes. We do not have hello coming through. Oh, 
Is it because I'm not doing that? Not? Oh, well, it's not going to matter just yet because we need to reload. Reload. Okay, it's still no hello coming through. Why? What we have here is a failure to communicate. So it's not a pair. No, I'm not sending a header. We want to send the body. Why is the body not getting through? I don't know if I ever brought it back to life. Let's try that again. No, hello. Oh wait, I need to bring you back. Still no hello coming through. Hello, not coming through. Let's see. All right, uh, App Express App Post. Request response. Response dot write request dot body dot user. This feels really old. Uh, Twelve years. because I don't have a body parser. Is that the entire thing? I think that's it. NPM install, save. Body processor. What? Body parser, blah blah blah. 
body parser has been depreciated. Okay. Okay, so I can just use this. Let's see. And send it as JSON. Use. I guess I should do it here. Then here. back there, go to postman, oh, oh, I mean it didn't say it, but it kind of did the thing. Unexpected property or name at position one. So it did, it didn't crash. Let's do it again. Okay, no, it's still, all right, good. So if I do this, can I beautify? Beautify. Did I do it wrong? Is it supposed to be like this? Or is it curlies? I want to say it's curlies. Oh. I think I need that as well, right? Error not found. Okay, now we got the body. Dot message, okay. All right, so the error I get now is not found, 404. That is API Twitch Helix Chat Messages. Helix Chat Messages. Error not found, status 404 message. Helix chat messages. Let's just Oh, 
All right, so I'm getting that. That's taken care of. Uh, maybe I should. Channel creds, bot creds. All right, that's not the issue. Let's look at you. I have a header of the authorization. Bearer, auth item token, cool. Client ID, cool. And I guess I could do this. But I think I need to change how I send the data. Because I'm pretty sure I do that in one of these. Yeah, the search params. That is a little bit different. Fampy. Let's catch us a Fampy. I suppose the question now is, did we actually catch it? We may have. Well, I don't know. I think I already have a Fampy. Let's check. Pow. Yeah, didn't catch him. Alright, where is... There's the... Oh, well, that just adds the search to it. I mean, I guess I could still just do that, right? But that's not... Yeah, there we go. So that sends the body as JSON. Okay, so that's what, that's what we're going to do. copy you and interestingly enough that's the exact same one send chat message I feel like I want to just include twitch chat and then just use send chat message <laughs> eh, let's do it let's do that that just seems like a better way of going about this overall than just rewriting the exact same thing. So all of that is fine. Actually, I don't even think I need these. All I need is the auth item, right? Message, auth item, and any options. Because it grabs it 
Client ID, broadcaster, sender, and message. Yeah, okay. So, just gonna go here. And... TG equals Twitch getters. Okay, let's do this here. What are you gonna say? Here, I just do Twitch chat dot send chat message. are no then we send and it errors send chat message is not the function what oh twitch sender of undefined what clash oh capital s because of course it is a class do I have to invoke it like like this so if I do ts equals new which chat and then here instead I go ts I did need this other stuff. <laughs> Why you still crash? Cannot read properties of undefined reading ID. Oh, this is back over in my Twitch getters. Why are you? Why are you suddenly being stupid? So sending a chat message, I do. Wait. Get user ID options dot channel options dot bot user. Oh, well, that would be a problem because it's getting the user ID. So, eh. 
it's not going to get the user ID after getting the user ID. So channel is that. And you are that. And sweet. All right, so this happens, and then um, I need to say res send. Not success true, probably. Um, Two hundred. Two hundred. Okay. <laughs> Hello from Postman. All right, we got the two hundred. Why did it crash? Oh, because I didn't do this but it didn't actually crash hello from postman sweet yeah that's definitely a better way of doing it than <laughs> reinventing the wheel I think with that being handled um that's what I'm calling it for today. Maybe I might do a little bit more work towards putting a uh, putting some authentication around this, but for now, uh, I think it it gets the job done for me, and it also allows me to use the client to send messages. So the first half of what I set out to do is done. Um. Well, as I always say, if you were lurking and you hung out, thanks for spending some of your day with me. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, also, thank you. If you've made it this far, thanks for getting all the way to the end. Um, I hope I was able to entertain you in some way. And I hope that at the end of the day, you're having a good day and a good week, a good whatever it is for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me.